Dear viewers, welcome back to my Blazor playlist. In this episode, I will discuss how you can build confirmation dialog using Mad Blazor in Blazor application. This is the official website of Mad Blazor. Here you can see how you can install Mad Blazor in your application. This is demo application. I have installed Mad Blazor in this application. To install Mad Blazor, you need to complete four steps. First, you need to install Mad Blazor NuGet package from Manage NuGet Package Manager. So here it is. I have been already installed. And then you need to import Mad Blazor namespace inside the imports.reserve file. And third step, you need to register. Mad Blazor services inside the program.sys file. Here I registered Mad Blazor services. And fourth and final step, you need to add static files inside the index.html. For CSS, I added the CSS file uh, inside the head section. And for JavaScript, I added JavaScript file inside the body section this is all about installing mad blazor in the application okay let's build the confirmation dialog open the display customer component here we can see on handle delete method this is the event handler method of delete button when user clicks uh, the delete button this method is executed and customer data is deleted from the database so here I will add the code to show the confirmation dialog so that user can acknowledge either the user will be deleted or not here you can see the IMAT dialog service this is the mad blazer dialog service using this service we can display a confirmation dialog let's see Bar is confirmed. Uh, here we can see that the Mad Dialog service has a confirm async. This confirm async method uh, will populate a confirmation dialog in browser, and it returns either true or false as per the user response. So. This method has only one parameter that is message. Here I need to add this is confirmed. Uh, if it is true, the customer will be deleted. Otherwise, uh, it will do nothing. Save. Let's run the application. Okay, here is the customer list and the delete button. Let's click the delete button. Okay, here we can see the confirmation dialog. And there is two button. One is cancel. And okay, if I click cancel, no data is deleted. And click delete button again. And if, if I click the OK button, yeah, customer deleted successfully. Uh, it is very easy to build Mad Blazor confirmation dialog. First step, you just need to install the Mad Blazor in your application. Then you need to inject the Mad Dialog service inside the component where you want to display the confirmation dialog, and then you need to call the confirm async method to display the confirmation dialog. Uh, this, this is the default dialog of Mad Blazor. Sometimes we need to customize this dialog as per our requirement. In the next episode, I'll discuss how we can customize this confirmation dialog. Thank you.